Welcome back to another walk around and test drive video at Coyote Classics. Today we're checking out a 1969 Mustang Coupe um, that I've kind of fallen in love with. color is fantastic. Just a very nice, well-kept, well-kept, low mileage car. It's got its numbers matching, 351 under the hood. And the lady that owned this for the last 10 or 11 years took fantastic care of it. It's got 96,000 low mileage. I mean, we say low mileage, 96,000 isn't low on a new car, but for one that's 50 years old, it's freaking really low. Yeah. And just very well taken care of, too. Um, obviously, it's been repainted, and when they repainted it, they did a gorgeous job on it. Look, no rust on the top of these aprons. Um, took everything apart, painted it piece by piece, bolted it all back together. Even the bolts and stuff were all painted when it was done. And the paint job, I know, was done before this this lady bought it really? 10, 11 years ago. So it looks. You're the, talking 15 years probably. Um, and, the, and look how it's held up. The paint, in my opinion, is I mean very nice. I mean, you could take it to a local show and. Maybe have Hell. some of the nicest paint there. <laughs> yeah, you could take it to any show, couldn't you? Yeah. Freaking get nice out, isn't it? It is. It's starting to feel like, like spring and summer. Um, definitely. Um, as I mentioned before, obviously the hood was all taken off and repainted. They went with the matting and stuff, but the hood paint's beautiful on her fenders. Uh, it does have air, but the air is not working, but it's 100% complete. She said uh, when she got it, um, I don't even think she's ever used it. So it's just, it's just complete. It's got a belt on it. It's not you know, locked up. Um, as far as the booster, look at that thing. It's got a date 1187 on it. Must have been replaced during restoration. Um, power steering works great on it. Just really excited about taking this one down the road. I have not drove this one yet. You're gonna really like it. I, I drove it and I came back in. I was telling Dave how much I love this car. And he said it was owned for the last 11 years by a lady named Susie. And I said, the car looks, feels, and drives like it was owned you know, for a long time by a lady Susie? named Susan. But yep. she could go by Susie. She could, but I know her name is Susan. Yeah, Susan. Right. But it's just a very nice, very nice car is what I'm getting at. Just never beat on, always babied. I've heard you say this before, so you could be the first one to beat on it. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do it to Susie. No. Yeah, what a nice car. I like the silver blue metallic. It's always one of my favorites in a, mm -hmm. in a uh, most of the time you see these like in a 1966. Yep. Um, but the 69, it shows so well. Even the um, the wheels and tires, I mean, usually when I get a car in like this, the first thing I want to do is change them to Kregers or, or Torque Thrust or something like that. But man, this car just screams 96,000 original perfect miles. Yep. So I wanted to leave the wire wheel hubcaps and it has a great stance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad you left that because that's, it's what the car is. Exactly, but if you want to change it, go ahead. But I just couldn't bring myself to it. The back of the hood lines up great. Really nice gap here on the top of the fender all the way down to the bottom. Uh, lower fender's excellent. There's your body line all the way down. Beautiful paint. Like I said, over 10, 11 years old for sure. And the paint is gorgeous here on the passenger side. Dual sport mirrors, black vinyl top. Um, I know you called it a hard top. This is the Grande version, which was the uh, vinyl top. Yep. Um, it's a neat looking car. The only thing I can pick apart about it at all is it's got the beautiful uh, dual exhaust uh, rear valance, but it needs some new chrome tips. Mm -hmm. You know, the next owner could really dial that up that way. There's not really much else that I would do. <laughs> so Susie. far, that's all I've seen. Uh, tail lights are perfect. Um, chrome around them looks nice. Bumper, back chrome is all good. I'm guessing inside the trunk's nice. Go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. You'll see 20, 25 undercarriage photos and the inside of the trunk that's not shown in the video. It's a little piece of dirt there from driving around the block. Back quarter is excellent. Here's the amazing part. As we open up that door and they open and close so nicely, check out that door panel. Um, absolutely perfect. And it's got the uh, deluxe interior. So it's got the lights inside the door panel. Corner of the door is rust free. Silver blue interior, black full console, dash is beautiful on it, and it's a pad, it's not a cap. It's always a good question to ask on these 69 and 70s because they are very expensive. They're like mm -hmm. five, 600 bucks, I think, for a new one. So carpet's nice. I'm guessing the interior's been redone. It's just way too nice, in my opinion, for original. Headliner's excellent. Dome light works, visors are tight. It's got the headrest. 
It's got one little rip here in the back of the seat. Looks like somebody caught it with something on the way out. Could definitely be glued. Um, other than that, seats are beautiful. All the cords are great. It's got the wood grain steering wheel, the wood and the door panels, and the wood and the dash. Clock even works in it still. It's amazing. It's got the grande on the dash as well. Like I said, that rear valance is really nice. The paint on that's excellent. Put a couple nice uh, pony tips or trumpet exhaust or whatever your, cho your choice would be. Um, over the wheel wells is beautiful. Just like the passenger side, I don't see any issues anywhere down low, which is usually where the issues are on these cars. Um, one tiny little speck bubble right here. Very, very minute. I'll use my pinky finger here. Very, very small. Other than that, excellent shape. Back corner of the hood's good here as well. Both doors, absolutely corners of the doors are absolutely mint. Nothing done there in that corner. Um, here's your code. Color is 1B, trim is 04G. I'm sorry, color is P, trim is 1B, date is 04G, uh, DSO 74. Somebody got a little crazy when they marked these. Axle is R and trans is X. Um, 65E will probably come back as our grande there. Um, again, door panels like new, wood grain's excellent, light works in both doors. Got the aftermarket, um, kind of the Mach 1, I'd call stereo, the, the Grande remote mirror works too. Seat is excellent on the driver's side, door panels, and also the door jam pane is excellent. 96,196 miles, original. Hopefully the key works in there, Big D. Yeah. Maybe we got the wrong key. <laughs> Might. <laughs> um, let me check this out a minute because this is yeah, no power, no tilt wheel. Horn works. Even the clock in the dash works. I, I took a. That you're a dollar late. I know, but it just speaks to the car. Might as well mention it twice. Seatbelt um, light works on the dash. Now this one's got, unlike the last one, what was it, 57, it was kind of quiet. This one's got a speaker here, two speakers on the door, factory, and it's got speakers in the back. Nearly the same rate for electricity today. This one will blow your eardrums out. It will. Oil pressure is good, gas gauge works, um, alternator gauge works. Somebody that buys this is going to just be kind of over the moon with, with the quality of it, how it drives, and the whole nine yards. Other lights work here, dome light works up top, plus underneath. Fan works great. Like I said, air conditioner might need, will need some work. I mean, she had never used it, so I'm sure after 10 years, I'm sure it needs some stuff. Um, I like this, the console's in great shape. It's got the seat belt holder still. Cigarette lighters right there, we'll check that out. Look at this. Now we check the motor numbers and stuff oh, like motor. that too, but this is the factory Buck tag, tag that, yeah, wow. that goes on the engine, 351, 69, blah, blah, blah. We'll leave that nice. for the next guy to put that back on, so. That's usually pretty rare. I don't, think, I don't think that works. Cigarette lighter's all there, though. Well, Susie's got some She does. She's got some power, and she just handles really well. It's responsive, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Steering's good, speedometer works. <laughs> that 351's awesome! It is. It, Isn't it? Yeah, it's a great car. Um, speedometer works great, so are the brakes. I mean, we do a great job going through all the brakes on them. I mean, occasionally, yeah, you might have one and somehow a wheel cylinder goes bad after we have it, but for the most part, we go through all those brakes. I mean, Mark does a great job on them, and again, this one stops great as well. Um, previous owner mentioned that she just didn't drive it much. So I was kind of worried when we bought it, like how it was going to be mechanically. Cause so many cars that sit or so many cars that we buy, they're just a mechanical mess. Mm -hmm. I don't care if the car looks nice or not, you get it in. By the time we go through everything, I mean, we spend thousands and thousands of dollars on the little mm -hmm. stuff. So the, customers this, need to realize, I mean, it, a car can look good and kind of sound good, but there's just so much more money to be spent. Yeah. And they have one that drives as nice as this little Mustang. 
is a is a rarity. You know, they all they all don't drive. In fact, a vast majority of them drive like shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Drive like shit. Look like shit. Sound like shit. Yep. I mean, they do. You they just do. got back from an auction. You went and looked at some stuff. 150 it's, cars there, and there's we maybe got 11. Two. Yeah, 11 that that were our kind of cars. You know? Right. So we don't buy everything that we see. Right. Yeah. I mean, and try to turn it into something. We just can't. Yeah. But the big thing is just know that you know something like this that drives, looks, and is nice and clean, is not brakes the, work perfect. Let's turn it around and just kind of go through the gears one more time. But the power steering works good. Is that your phone going off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Sorry about that, guys. I thought the, I thought the radio came on. <laughs> yeah, I was confused. I'm like, is Susie talking to us? For and Susan, if you watch this video, we love your car. We do. We, we named it. We love it. After you, because it's just such a nice, pristine, clean yeah. car, and you did a great job caring yep, for it. Definitely. All right, so that time it warmed up. There was no hesitation in that car. Look at this. Yeah, it's it, it, that's 75 mile an hour right there. This thing performs. I'll put right. this against any freaking Mach 1, 69 Mach 1. Yeah. I don't give a shit if this is a Grande vinyl top or not. It's fast. This 351 is tuned the hell in. Yeah, it's, isn't it? Yeah. And it's numbers match it too. It's not like somebody put aluminum heads on it or did nothing crazy. It's just, just this car drives and handles just like it would from the factory. And, and uh, 69. I'm impressed, and the steering is just so nice, and it sits just like it would have in 69. Kick down works great, throws you back in your seat, 40, 50. I mean, it shifted from 40 to 55 right there in that shift in the yeah. speedometer. It's awesome. Check this out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. You can be the next caretaker of this 1969 Mustang Coupe.